Hi, I'm Deanna Springer with another fun Stitched Sisters quilting technique with time-saving tips by my longtime friend Nancy Zeman. First, let's take a look at the technique we're doing today. We'll be making no hassle triangles in quilts. We'll be making full block squares, square blocks for quilts, half square blocks, and quarter square blocks. We'll be using our brand new No Hassle Triangles ruler, Clover's No Hassle Triangles gauge, Schmetz quilting needles, and some Riley Blake Shades fabrics. The No Hassle Triangles ruler is printed with all the information you will need to make solid quilt blocks, half square triangles, and quarter square triangle quilt blocks. On the center of the ruler, you'll see that you'll follow the green lines for cutting square quilt blocks, the purple lines for cutting half square quilt blocks, and the aqua lines for cutting quarter square triangles. You'll find each line has a key. To make two and a half inch solid blocks, I'll cut two and a half inch crosswise fabric strips. To make two and a half inch half square blocks, I'll cut my strips two and seven eighths inches. And to make quarter square quilt blocks in two and a half inches, I'll cut my fabric strips three and a quarter inch. Each of the quilt block sizes tells you right on the ruler which measurement to cut. When you turn the ruler to cut your squares, you'll subcut squares from your fabric strips following the same dimensions. For two and a half inch quilt blocks, you'll cut two and a half inch squares. For two and a half inch half square blocks, you'll subcut those crosswise fabric strips into two and seven eighths. And the markings are on the ruler. Just follow the color coordinating markings. For quarter square quilt blocks in two and a half inch finished size, I'll follow the aqua lines. I'll be cutting three and a quarter inch squares. Each quilt block is noted on the ruler for each size crosswise fabric strips and for subcutting squares. Quarter square and half square quilt blocks are commonly used to create many popular quilt blocks, including Night Vision, Weather Vane, Sawtooth Star, Shoe Fly, Square Dance, May Basket, King's Crown, Windmill, and Nancy's Spool. Today we're making quilt block squares, half square triangles, and quarter square triangles using the new No Hessel Triangles ruler. The ruler has measurements printed on it for making two and a half inch blocks to six and a half inch blocks. You can make solid quilt blocks, half square quilt blocks, and quarter square triangles. The first step is to cut crosswise fabric strips. So the ruler tells me if I want to make six and a half inch quilt blocks, cut a six and a half inch crosswise fabric strip. And I'll align the ruler with the bottom of the fabric strip and I'll cut. Using a rotary cutter, you'll cut your fabric. And then you'll use the square function of the ruler to cut your quilt blocks into squares. Another cut here. That'll give you square quilt blocks in six and a half, five and a half, four and a half, three and a half, and two and a half. But with the ruler, you can also make half square and quarter square triangles. Up next, half square triangles. To make half square triangles, we'll be using the No Hessel Triangles gauge again, and we'll be cutting our crosswise fabric strips. This time, two opposing colors. So I'm using grape and white, and I'm aligning the ruler with the edge of the fabric, and it tells me where to cut the fabric for four and seven eighths inch strips that will make four and a half inch quilt blocks. And before we had that, we had to look in a book or look online to figure out what size strips do we cut to make four and a half inch half square quilt blocks. Well, now it's all on the ruler. It's also on Nancy's No Hassle Triangles gauge. 
So you can use the gauge in conjunction with the ruler or use them independently, but they work great together. The gauge also tells you what size squares to cut to make four and a half inch half squares. Now the ruler tells you what width of strips to cut so that you can subcut them into triangles. So I'm cutting four and seven eighths inch squares to sew into half square triangles. The next step is to trace. We need to trace a line down the center of our block. So we'll take an opposing grape block and a white block. And we'll do some tracing. You depress the button on the gauge and slide it to four and a half inch. And then you align the corners of the block with the corners of the gauge. And I'm tracing, I'm tracing the die cut openings in the gauge and that makes a center line mark. You'll want to make sure that you mark all the way through to the fabric. There. So once you have your quilt blocks traced down the middle, we need to do some stitching, but that is not our stitching line. This will actually be an alignment line. We'll align our presser foot to that center line and we'll stitch a scant quarter inch on each side of that line using a quarter inch quilting foot. And then we'll do some cutting. We'll cut right on that center line. And you could do this with a rotary cutter and ruler, and you'll get that straighter than I'm doing. So you've cut. And once you've pressed this open, you have a pair of half square triangles. So two, one set makes two opposing blocks. Next up, quarter square triangles. To make quarter square triangles, we'll start by making half square triangles. But our, our half square triangles will need to be a larger size because the quarter square quilt block has two seams in it. So that takes up some of the width of the block. So we need to make the block bigger. So again, we'll reference the ruler. If we wanted to make four and a half inch quilt blocks, the ruler tells you to cut five and a quarter inch strips. So we'll align the ruler with the edge of our fabric, opposing fabric. I have a blue aqua and a white fabric together. And you can cut crosswise fabric strips when you align that ruler, align the four and a half inch quarter square icon to the edge of the fabric and cut your five and a half inch crosswise fabric strips. Cut those crosswise fabric strips into squares again by aligning the ruler to the fabric and cutting your squares. So subcut several squares and then you'll make pairs. So you'll place the light with a dark background, right sides together, and we're going to use that no hassle triangles gauge again. And we're going to slide the gauge to the four and a half inch quarter square triangle. To make quarter square triangles, we need to trace in those die cut openings that same center line. We've marked the center of the block again. I need to reach a little further and get that corner marked. That is again, not the stitching line. We'll be attaching a quarter inch presser foot to our sewing machine and we'll be stitching a scant quarter inch on each side of that line. And we'll, after it, the blocks are stitched, we'll cut it apart. And I actually like to sew several at one time. So I chain piece them together and then just clip those threads apart and then cut down the center of that half square triangle block again. And you can definitely use that rotor cutter and ruler to cut those apart. That'll be a little bit more accurate than what I'm doing with the scissors, but it's very forgiving. If that seam allowance is cut slightly imperfect, imperfect, it's okay because once you press these open, you'll have two opposing triangles, half square triangles. And the t a classic time-saving tip from Nancy Zeman, when you press quilt blocks 
press quilt blocks to the dark side. So to do that, you'll take your iron and you'll press that open. I have the dark fabric facing upward and I'm pressing it away from me. And that's how you know you've pressed to the dark side of the fabric. But we'll take those two half square triangles and we'll put them right sides together. But we need to turn the block so that we have the white lined up with the aqua and the aqua lined up with the white. And you may guess what the next step is. We need to bring the no hassle triangle gauge back into the block making process and mark that center line. So this time we'll go corner to corner and I've adjusted the guide to the correct block size and we'll trace. We'll trace that diagonal line and we'll take it back to the sewing machine and we'll stitch. So we'll stitch again on each side of that line and when you cut the block apart, you'll press them open and you'll have two quarter square quilt blocks from one pair of half square blocks. You can also mix it up and make take opposing half squares in different colors. Say we had introduced a, a charcoal color and a gray, and if we put those opposing half square blocks together and sew those, we can have a quarter square. If you take a solid black charcoal square to a half square triangle, you have a modified quarter square triangle. I hope you'll try no hassle triangles in your next quilt. We hope you've enjoyed this Stitch It Sisters video. You'll find our new No Hessel Triangles ruler, the No Hessel Triangles gauge, and a limited number of project bundle boxes at stitchitsisters.com. Be sure to tune in again for another Stitch It Sisters sewing adventure. In the meantime, connect with Stitch It Sisters and friends on our social sites. Stitch It Sisters is made possible by Clover, Pellon, Schmetz Needles, and shopnzp.com.